All right, guys, we got Wednesday, August 9th. Board briefing, the camera's a little slanted. All right. Um, the workout's called Slim Shady. Before the workout, we have a little test around. 100 meter run, forehand cleans at the workout weight that you're gonna use. RX for the workout is 105, 155. Okay, we'll get back to the workout. Warm up, four sets, 14 different movements. All right, specific warm up, the hang clean. What that means is we're gonna squat every single time, okay? We're gonna break the movement down, put it all together, have you practice. pre wad strength, this is our strength portion. Emon, eight minutes, every minute on the minute, we're gonna perform two hang cleans, okay? For this specific uh, movement here and workout, we're gonna build in weight. So if it was good, have some weight close by you to slap it on, right? 60 seconds is not a huge amount of time to perform this movement. It is a long movement. We gotta pass through parallel, we gotta stand up, we gotta bring the bar back down to our hip and then go again, okay? Um, we shouldn't be missing here. We should be getting substantially heavy for us. Um, we could make mistakes but we shouldn't be going so heavy that we drop the bar, okay? Let's work on practicing, practicing, practicing at heavier percentages, getting that nailed down nice and tight and buttoned up, all right? Workout, Slim Shady, five rounds. Each round consists of two movements and two minutes. Three, two, one, go. The clock will start running. Run 200 meters, come back in the gym, pick up the bar and do as many hang cleans as you can do. Okay, the workout weights 105 and 155 for RX. Level two, 75, 115. Level one, 55 and 75 pounds respectively. Now, a couple big ticket items. If we're doing less than seven reps, the weight's probably too heavy for you, okay? Um, also too, it sort of like depends when you get back. We should have at least a minute on that barbell, okay? So if the, the runs are taking you more than a minute, we might have to scale the run down a little bit so that can happen, okay? The other thing is, if we're getting too high, like if we're getting 15 reps, the weight's too light or the distance you're running is too short, okay? So we'll even all that stuff out. Maybe, I, not maybe, after the first round, you're gonna have a great idea where we are, okay? Now, um, if the loading, 55, 75 is too light, but 75, 115 is too heavy, find something in between, right? There's always a weight that's gonna work good for every individual athlete in the gym. We just have to find it for you. All right, that being said, that's how you scale the hand cleans. If we have an injury and it's not gonna allow us to squat, we can do other things like power clean. Just tell your coach, he'll sort them, or they will sort that problem out when you get into the gym. If we have a wrist injury, maybe we're using dumbbells for this workout, okay? Um, I encourage you guys to run pretty hard. So here's the crux, right? If you run too hard, you're gonna be exhausted when you come back and you won't be able to lift the uh, um, moderate loading on the barbell. If you run too slow, you're not gonna get reps, right? So there is a happy medium in there, and we sort of got the lesson plan laid out like we said, the, the minute for each move or each thing. So the run should take you about a minute and the, the cleans should take you about a minute and we should be able to get seven reps in that time, okay? So that's how we're trying to make sure that everyone's uh, got the proper scaling options. All right, guys, let's have some fun with it. Let's throw some weight around. Oh yeah, don't forget if you're dropping the bar from the top, let's have drop pads, okay? All right, we'll get at you tomorrow morning. All right, guys, enjoy, have fun, get some sleep. We'll see you at the at Slim Shady later.